This door setup tutorial from Focusrite will guide you through how to set up your Sapphire interface with Ableton's live software ready to record and playback audio. The first step you need to take is to download the latest version of Sapphire Mix Control from the support pages of Focusrite's website. Once you have done this, you can connect your Focusrite interface and run the Sapphire Mix Control software. Once you have done this, open Ableton Live and create a new live set. You'll see this screen. To configure audio, we need to go to Options and select Preferences. Here, we will select the Audio tab. On the Windows, the first thing you need to select is Driver Type. For the Sapphire, we need to select ASIO. And for the audio device, ASIO Sapphire. On a Mac, you simply need to select Sapphire. The first thing that we need to configure is the inputs as this will allow us to use all 16 channels. Make sure that they are all yellow. Then we'll do the same for output. Here we have to select all stereo and mono channels to make them available. Now all eight channels are available. On the screen we also see sample rate. Ensure that the sample rate in Sapphire Mix Control matches the sample rate set in Ableton Live. You'll also see buffer size set here. On Windows, it is set by the, the, the buffer size set in Sapphire Mix Control, whereas on a Mac, you'll be able to modify the buffer size on this screen. Decreasing the buffer size will give you lower latency. However, be careful, as the lower the buffer, the more likely you are to experience dropouts. Once you've done this, your interface is now ready to use in live. To select an input and output channel, you need to make sure you are viewing the In-Out menu. To do this, go to View and select In-Out. For each channel, you can now select which input you want to use. As you can see, we have all 16 channels available to use. I'm going to select Input 5. You can also configure the, out the main output channels and the queue output channels on this channel strip. As you can see, we have four stereo pairs or eight individual mono outputs that we can select. I'm going to leave it on output 1 and 2. Output 1 and 2 corresponds with door 1 and door 2 in your Sapphire Mix Control software. In order to make sure that you are hearing door 1 and door 2 to your monitors or headphones, select door tracking as your routing preset as this will automatically add door 1 and door 2 to your outputs. For more information on setting up a mix for zero latency monitoring when tracking, please see the Sapphire Mix Control tutorials on the Focusrite answer base.